And now let's move to my colleague Vishnu Shom, who's been working on a great series of defense bucket list experiences in 2017. Today, the course in jungle warfare that he's been attending with Gurkha soldiers in Mizoram. In these dense jungles, it's often impossible to spot the enemy. Terrorists could be hiding anywhere. The slightest sound may betray your position, and that could be the difference between life and death. But these Gurkha soldiers know that, which is why every step is deliberate, every movement is calibrated. A piece of clothing has been detected. This could belong to a terrorist. The sniffer dog is brought in. Suddenly, all hell breaks loose. This unit is under attack. But as this group of soldiers takes cover, three other soldiers who are covering the flank of the main group moves in to intercept the enemy. This was a simulated battle. For patrols like this, rationing food and supplies is critical. A patrol may be out for days, and if push comes to shove and packaged pre-cooked meals run out, everything all around us can be used for survival. Snakes, scorpions, worms, frogs, you name it. There is a method in what seems to be madness. Consuming a snake, the head which could contain venom and the tail are removed. Pretty much everything else can be consumed, mostly cooked, sometimes raw. Hmm. It's salty. Yeah, it, it tastes like this one. But it doesn't have any strong taste. It, but it is very uh, nutritious. Hmm. We eat, we get a lot of nutrition, a lot of proteins. Hmm. So well, so there you have it. I've had a bite of the snake. It's not something I'd care to do too often. But this is what all your soldiers do. Yeah. And you're trained to do this. Yeah. Because you don't just rely on food that you carry. You run yeah. out of that sometimes. Yeah.